one of my favorite songs from Lauren Hill. Oh my gosh, I wish you would come back and make music. But anyway, here you go. So beautiful, her voice, isn't it? I don't want to sing with her because, you know, I know I can't sing. I think I can in my mind, but I know the truth. <laughs> I, want, I want you guys to hear this part, and then I'm going to start. But what? But if I lack love, then I have nothing at all. Oh, my gosh. She said, if I lack love, then I have nothing at all. Hello all, TGIM! <laughs> Thank God it's Monday and um, welcome back! I know you guys missed me for a week, right? Last week I wasn't on here, my apologies. It's been very crazy, but I'm back and <laughs> in a full force and I have something really great to talk about. Um, first of all, hey, you guys like my Christmas tree? Isn't it pretty? <laughs> Thought I'd sit right here because I like the like the look. It's the Monday before Christmas. Anyway, all right. So um, you know, today I wanted to talk about what she spoke of. She said, "If I lack love, then I have nothing at all." And I want to speak about love, no matter what. That's right, love, love you, no matter what. You know, um, I decided to speak on this because I had experienced a couple of things over the past couple of weeks um, with different people in my life. And, um, you know, one of the things that kept coming up was love. I was even asked the question, you know, like, why are you still so kind to me? You know, um, Keisha, I don't know. You, you don't do anything wrong to me. Like, you're still kind. You're still caring. Um, you know, you still showcase love no matter what. And the reality is, is, that's who I am and that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to compromise who I am because someone else chooses to be a jerk at times or whatever at certain times. I'm still going to be me and I'm still going to showcase love. Now, don't get it twisted. That don't mean I'm going to be somebody's doormat because I'm not. <laughs> but I will still choose love no matter what. So when I think about love and what it represents, some of the words that come to mind are even some things that she spoke of and that you can find in the great B-I-B-L-E, <laughs> which is patience. I think that love is joy. I think love is caring. I think love is peace. I think love is kind. I think love is living and knowing and seeing, experiencing deserving love is you that's right no matter what you have done no matter where you've been in life some of the mistakes some things that you've experienced some things that you you feel that are unforgivable you still deserve to be loved i wanted to be able to say that to people because i feel like sometimes People feel, some people feel that they are not deserving to be loved because of a situation they may have account, encountered or something that they chose to react to inappropriately in some way, shape, or form. Regardless of that, you still deserve to be loved. Everyone deserves to be loved. Every single person. Um, you know, when I think about Christmas and what it represents, you know, for different people around the world, it means different things. And that's completely okay. For me... Christmas means Christ. <laughs> you know, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. So loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. To me, that's such a beautiful story. And that's a love that is sometimes beyond people's comprehension. Um, and, and I feel like that that should be an example of how we choose to love. You know, I, I've come across people in my life that, you know, go through some different things, that have some, some different disorders, and they feel that because their disorders sometimes, um, I, I want to say, influences them to react in a way that they typically would not. 
their disorder sometimes influences them, like bipolar syndrome, for an example. Um, you know, it influences people to do or say things that they typically would not. Um, that does not mean that they're not deserving of being loved because their mind sometimes changes in a certain moment. They still deserve love just as us. You know, um, sometimes, you know, people, because they they don't know how to showcase love. They react in, you know, what can be some, it can seem as a negative way to some people. Um, and, you know, I say love that person no matter what, because love, you know, love will conquer all. And if you continue to showcase love to that person, that person will experience a change. I'm a firm believer of that. You know, I think about like my family, for example. You know, most of you know my situation. Um, you know, I, I, I don't, my dad, hey, how are you? Wherever you are, he might be watching me. I don't know. I don't know where he at. But, you know, <laughs> I still love him from afar. We don't have no relationship. We probably won't. But that doesn't mean that I'm not going to love him just because he was a part of of me being who I am, <laughs> you know, um, I'm, I'm going to love that my mom, you know, me and my mom, we don't talk on a daily basis. We don't talk on a weekly basis, sometimes not monthly, but regardless, I still love her. I love her because she helped create me and without her, there would be no me. So I love her for that. My sister, oh my gosh, my sister is like my best friend, I could never live without. We talk every single day. If we don't talk, she goes crazy, literally. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, sometimes she... <laughs> Sorry, sis, it's true. Um, but sometimes, you know, she, um, she reacts in ways that I don't feel that that's what she really wants to say. But because she doesn't always know how to get her words across, it comes across negatively to some people. I choose to still love her anyway. And I realized throughout these years with me speaking calmly and listening to her and showcasing love that I've seen a change in her with some of those reactions. My brother and I, we have a lot of similarities, you know, so, um, you know, it's it's not difficult to not love him. I mean, I'm looking at me, a mini me. Um, but you know, like I just think about regardless of what the situations may be, regardless of what these people have done, regardless what, what people may have encountered in life. And sometimes they feel that they're unforgivable. It's unforgivable. The things that they've done, you can be forgiven. If you ask, if you ask for forgiveness and you actually forgive yourself, know that you are loved no matter what. That's really my message, and I know I've said it multiple times because I really want to get the point across. Like, I really want people to understand how much they are deserving of love. Don't ever think that you don't deserve to be loved because of whatever the situation may be. If you feel that no one loves you, if you feel that, you know, you can't find it anywhere, you may not know me, but know that I'll pray for you and that I love you. And also know that you can always source a higher being that will always love you no matter what you do and who you are, because that's what he was designed to do. I wish you all the very best. I won't speak to you for Christmas because it's Wednesday. So I wish you a very Merry Christmas. I hope that it's filled with lots of love, laughter, joy, kindness, understanding, great food, and fun with your friends and family. Have a wonderful day. I hope you understand the message on love and that you are meant to be loved no matter what. Have the very best, guys. Have a wonderful Monday and a fabulous week. TGIM, love no matter what.